What's going on VFAM? Your boy Juan Valdez back with a brand new video. I hope you guys are all having an incredible day so far. came outside of my place I'm at this little lounge area I want to just step out the place for a little bit just to record this video for you guys I actually wanted to go over one of the first business ventures I actually got into I didn't really consider it much of a business venture just because for me it was just like a quick way that I had discovered that I can make some quick cash if I would have spent a lot more time and effort and put a lot more energy into it I probably could have made it be a lot more than just business venture I right? probably could have had it be like you know a full-time business but obviously I did I was young I honestly just used this opportunity to make some quick cash and that's about it I figured why not share with you guys maybe some of you guys that are watching could potentially do something similar or maybe even pick up a thing or two from it so when I was first getting started I know a lot of you guys have already heard about me doing door-to-door -door sales that's what I did before e-commerce before door-to-door -door sales I tried out a lot of different things right so obviously I've had nine to five jobs right my first job was actually at Burger King believe it or not honestly I tried it out for a little bit and it was the first job that I actually could get because I was super young when I tried to get my first job I was about 14 and back in Boston where I'm originally from you can't really get hired until you're 16 in like other jobs like retail jobs at the mall or like a kiosk or things like that and that's what I originally wanted to go for but obviously I couldn't get hired so it's something I can do so instead I applied at Burger King and I got hired there and honestly I didn't even last too much I couldn't do it I think I lasted like three weeks and then I quit again it was a learning experience after doing that I had a few other jobs right so I also worked at Staples and then I also became a lifeguard and I kind of did both of those for a while while I was actually working at Staples I actually had this mobile consultant position right where my job was to actually get people to come into Staples and actually sell them a phone right so if you think about that what exactly what I just said get people to come into Staples to buy a phone. Nobody goes into Staples to buy a phone. Let me just make that clear, right? Everybody that goes into Staples knows that they're going there to get office supplies, some kind of equipment, but not a phone. That's not what people go to Staples for. So I was already down one and I learned a ton from doing that. Again, it wasn't anything crazy. I think I was getting paid maybe like nine, nine or $10 an hour. But from there, I started looking for other opportunities that I could do, right? Because honestly, I wasn't making that much money and I didn't really like what I was doing. I literally had to be one of those annoying salespeople, which I didn't even know about sales or, you know, what people thought about salespeople or anything at that time. Honestly, I was just a guy that, you know, they gave me a ton of flyers too. They told me I needed to sell phones and you know, I did the best I can. So for me, I was also very introverted at that time. So I didn't really like speaking to people. So I was already down too, right? I had to do something that nobody wanted to do, which was come into Staples and buy a phone. Then I had to do something that I was already uncomfortable with doing, which is like naturally being outgoing and like speaking to a lot of people. So those are things that again, like I'm already down too for the count and I did it. So doing that, I had to get a lot more innovative, right? I had to think about how else can I make money? Like, I don't really like doing this. Like I need to find another way that I can also make some cash so what i actually started to do is i actually would go on this website called craigslist i started to think about well what if i can just take whatever money i made from like my next paycheck which is like nothing crazy maybe like two or three hundred bucks and i buy a cell phone from craigslist for a reduced price of what it, of whatever it's going for and then i just sold it to somebody else for a lot more honestly the idea just came from again i'm, I'm selling phones so i'm like how else can i sell phones right and then what i literally went ahead and did is that, that same day i went back on craigslist I took pictures of the phone as if it's a brand new phone and I literally listed it back on Craigslist for an extra $40 It wasn't anything crazy just $40 because again for me I just wanted to try it out believe it or not in the next within the next couple days I sold that phone and I was like wow, I can't believe I just did that so once that worked for me the first time, I doubled down on it. Now that I think about it, and for those of you guys that don't know what the double down concept is, it's pretty simple. It's simply once you find something that works in business or life, you double down on it, right? Because obviously it's already worked once, it can probably work again. And I honestly, I kept doing that in cycles, right? So I kept, every time I would get paid, I'd redo it. And obviously it got to a point where I was able to do it a couple of times a week. Not only could I do it with phones, with galaxies, but I could do it with iPhones. So then I started to do it with iPhones. After a while, like I was literally known for the guy that sold phones, right? All over. I can get anyone a phone because that's what I did. So it took me a while, but I think I might have made, I may have made maybe a thousand or two after a certain period of time. And my strategy literally was going on Craigslist. I would find whatever product was hot at the time. At this time, it was cell phones. And then from there, I would find probably like 
not the cheapest because usually when you find like the cheapest listing there's some sometimes something wrong with those listings i would find somewhat of like a medium priced listing so something that's not too high but not too low and then i would work them down to get the very best deal so i would literally message them like three or four times going back and forth on a price that i would want to get the phone for right i would literally do this with multiple different people it would take more than one person but i would do it up until the point where i could get the person down at least 40 to 50 bucks so i can make my profit and then what i started to do after that is i would price the phone a lot higher so i would price it double of what i brought the person down from so if i brought them down the first person down 40 dollars, i priced the phone at 80 dollars. my thought process was now when i list it and somebody else wants to do the same to me they can work me down and i'm still gonna make profit right so even if they want if they offer me $20 or $30 less, I'm still making profit. If I actually would have spent a lot more time on this specific business venture, I probably could have made it into something else, right? If I would have gotten a lot more help because the problem with this business model or business venture that I was in is, be, is that it wasn't as scalable because you had to go and meet the person yourself to get the phone, right? So obviously like that takes a go takes up a good amount of time because you have to drive the, to the place to meet, inspect the product and then drive back then list the product and obviously it wasn't too bad but if i would have known about you know how to scale businesses and what the possibilities were i probably would have kept doing it because it was a good opportunity so i think for a lot of people that are just getting started like doing something like this is important because you get to learn a ton from it right like i kept working that staples job that i had but i would say i was probably making just about the same that i was working on my weekly paycheck with a few phone flips a week right so i could have easily transitioned into stop working that job that i was working and just focus specifically on you know flipping cell phones for anyone that's just getting started in entrepreneurship i believe that there's a few different things you should do when you're first getting started right i believe that one of the best opportunities you can get into if you have capital then you can try a small business venture like that like flipping things on craigslist or amazon if you have no capital Capital, get a sales job I think that's one of the best things anyone that's just getting started can do because when it comes to entrepreneurship specifically entrepreneurship if you want to start your own business there's two things that pretty much every single business needs every single business needs sales and every single business needs marketing if you get a sales job you're already knocking down one of the two things that every single business needs. And I also learned about how a lot of the big billionaires in the world, like Mark Cuban, like they went and did door-to-door -door sales, like selling trash bags. So I figured, you know, if they did door-to-door -door sales, then I can do door-to-door -door sales too. If you're just getting started, if you have capital, again, I would try out, I would definitely consider trying out a different business venture, maybe like flipping cell phones, or if not, you know, trying out something like e-commerce, drop shipping, affiliate marketing, social media, agency, Amazon FBA, any of those. I would recommend for you to try out uh, if you have no capital sales for sure if you learn sales one it's gonna be a good learning experience because you're gonna learn a ton I've learned a lot of life, less life lessons that I probably wouldn't have been able to learn anywhere else I learned how to communicate with people how to get my message across which is something that's super important for everybody to know how to do and I got to learn a good amount about psychology now learning psychology is huge because the psychology you learn in sales you can then use it for marketing again you can try out a business venture again it all depends on whether you have capital or whether you don't. That's right, when it comes to marketing, setting up product descriptions, things like that, I literally use the exact same psychology tactics that I use when I did sales. I am about to get back inside, get some work done, and but check out the place right here. This is where I live at. You know, it's a pretty decent spot. It has palm trees all over. They all, there's also like this pool area where the boys are at right now. They actually took Pluto over there. Uh, I was over there for a little bit, but it got super hot out and I'm trying to stay away from the sun. I'm already tan enough, so. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys picked up a thing or two. If you did, make sure you drop a like on this video. And also, comment down below and let me know what you guys think about my first business venture. And also let me know about what other potential ventures you guys would want to get into. Or if there's anything else that you'd want me to talk about, right? And of course, if you haven't already, make sure you join the VFAM. Smash that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.